Hello everybody. It's a little earlier stream. I can't even see the screen on my phone. I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought I'd start outside, get a little sunlight. Went for a walk this morning, prayed a rosary and a the seven dollars rosary and seven stars of Mary, and got to thinking a lot. Um, but I'm very excited because right now um, I'm gonna head into the house, head into the house, the house of God, the church. Um, we are gonna do confessions tonight. 3D6, um, and I'm very excited about it. You know, uh, wow, I look really pale right there. Um, but before I, I, we, we go through, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain and kind of walk you through how that's gonna work. Um, I wanted there's something that I think I, I need to say. We're not, we're not motivated by fear. What I'm about to say, it's not motivated by fear but by charity. This whole social distancing thing, the six feet apart from each other, you know, it's very easy to get wrapped up in, in, in the fear of it all. Like, oh my gosh, don't be around each other because you'll get sick and we're all going to die. And it's very easy to get wrapped up in that. And that's not really what it's about. It's about charity. It's about Recognizing that it's not about what I want. It's not about what's good for me. It's what's good for my neighbor. What's good for my community. And, you know, I've heard over and over again that we're trying to flatten the curve. You know, flatten the curve of this, of this spread of this virus. Well, and I think there's... There's validity in that because in, in, in being mindful of our space and our surroundings and what we have and what we carry, what we may be carrying without realizing it, um, it's, it helps, it will help us recover as a society and enter back into communication and community faster. I keep, I keep uh, thinking of the there's these videos of um, delayed about delayed gratification, about uh, the test, the marshmallow test, where you sit you sit a kid down, and you put a marshmallow in front of him and say, okay, don't touch, don't eat this marshmallow for was it ten minutes or fifteen minutes or whatever it is, and if you don't eat the marshmallow, I'll give you another marshmallow. But if you do, I mean, you just eat the marshmallow, and the kids staring at it and like poking it and being like, I want. The marshmallow. I think they did a study on that. And there's a video on YouTube. I'll, I'll probably find it. Um, they did like a small example of that. But the study was that they checked up with these kids 10, 15, 20 years later. And the ones that were able to not eat the marshmallow and then get two marshmallows were actually in the long run more successful, happier, um, because of that mentality of delayed gratification. And so to recognize this social distancing is not so that to, it's not a fear move. Now, maybe some people are using it as a fear move, but we aren't. We aren't. We're saying let's respect each other's space and give each other space. Um, I may not be afraid. I'm not personally, I'm not afraid to get the coronavirus. I'm not afraid to die, especially dying for something I believe in. But it's not fair to me. It's not fair to you if I expose you to harm because I want to, because I, I want to do what I want to do. And so just, just keep that in the back of your mind. This is not about fear. This is about charity. So um, we're going to start confession tonight at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., and then we're going to go till 6 p.m. And ish, I'm going to say 6 p.m. With the, with the qualification that in the event that there are more people, I'll stay as long as necessary. I'll stay as long as necessary as long as people are, are coming to confession. Again, recognizing the social distance, um, the 10 people in the building, we're going to respect that. So let me show you how it's going to work. The doors will be unlocked to the church as the church, you know, you, 
have the ability to come and pray in our church now. We're on lockdown. So the doors will be unlocked. You will come in through this door or the door up there or the double doors up there, which will also be unlocked. And in fact, we have a, it's a little chilly, but it's a pretty nice day. So we're probably going to prop the doors open so we can have better airflow in this whole gathering space area. I don't know how to flip the camera. See behind me. Boom. All that space. Um, and so what we see here is these little blue crosses, right? X's are crosses. Depends. If you look at it this way, it's a cross. If you look at it this way, it's an X-shaped cross, which is fitting for St. Andrew because he died on an X-shaped cross. So we have a bunch of these filtered out throughout the... Ooh, I can't I can flip the camera. Heck yeah! Um, so we got boom. So again, cross, X-shaped cross. Boom. Right there and right there, right there, and right there, and right there. And right there, and right there. And you just, and there's one more right here. And so you'll come into the church. You'll stand in these crosses. You'll, you've got some uh, act of contri- uh, reflections of the act of contrition, which I'm going to put over on this table right here. Right? I don't speak Spanish, but wonderful time. God knows your sins. Um, you'll come in here. You'll stand in these things. If you look through, boom, you see two chairs. Now, these are going to be closed. These are going to be closed. So when you're standing here, you will be able to see there's someone sitting there, theoretically. There's a glare right now. These doors will probably be open, though. So there might be less glare. Come in here, you'll stand here. This is your, your line. This is about... From, from doorway to doorway, about six feet. So there'll be a little sign there with instructions. Um, again, this distance is about charity. It's about charity and hospitality. So the person will come out, then you will come in. You'll come into the church. Um, side note, there's gonna be another sign here if you come here for a private prayer. Just like at a gym, When you wipe down the machines after you use them, we're just asking you to do the same. To kind of spread out, you'll notice we have, uh, they disinfected the church early today. I can still smell the disinfectant. So you'll come and you'll sit down in this chair. We angled it so you didn't have to stare at the person next in line. You can kind of stare over in this direction of the confessional and and, and look at some of the stations. And then I will sit here. Trust me, your chair is a lot more comfortable than mine. (laughs) But I will sit here and see, obviously, I will not have a camera. So um, I will be looking at Jesus in the tabernacle. There is enough um, uh, space and echo that I should be able to hear you. But there's enough space. And because of those doors, uh, no one will be able to hear you out in the gathering space. And so what we're basically doing is we're taking the church... We're taking that little box right there and we're expanding it to this entire building. The entire church is going to become a confessional. A place to come and lay our burdens down for the Lord to, to tell Him we're sorry for the ways that we've turned away from them, that we desire deeper conversion, and to do penance, to pray for the salvation of souls, for the reparation of sins, to heal our church in this time of struggle. You may not be able to come to Mass in person, but you can come to confession and can be healed and restored and renewed The sacraments are still an active source of living water, as we heard in our gospel this last weekend. So, starting at 3 o'clock, let the mercy begin here at St. Andrew's. St. Francis Xavier, you're welcome to come. It's only a jog down the road. We're going to see how this works, and hopefully it will be very successful. 
And if we get a lot of people to come to confession, uh, maybe we can do it a couple of times. You know, maybe we can do it Sunday. Maybe we can do it at uh, different parts uh, throughout the week. We'll see. We're, again, let's not worry about next week. Let's not worry about next month. Let's worry about today. And say, what can I do today? You know, we can't change the fast. Pa- you can't change the past. And the future isn't here yet. The Lord has given us now. Um, the, the ends of the Hail Mary. Pray for us now and at the hour of our death. So, let us uh, come to the Lord in His mercy. Again, 3 o'clock. I'll also have, I have a little Bluetooth speaker. I will set a Bluetooth speaker out here and have some Gregorian chant playing. So, just another layer of, to make the, just the atmosphere a little more meditative. And to add another another level of, of sound, sound barrier. Uh, so, I look forward to seeing you tonight. Praying for you. Love you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.